Huge from Alcaraz. Well played. A darting serve and a really precise follow up forehand. Oh, well, Alves really committing across to the centre of the court. So Carlos Alcaraz gets the job done. A love service game to end what was a thoroughly entertaining first round match. Admittedly, not too much extra entertainment on this second day, but very, very professional. The US Open champion, the man who, should he win this tournament in defence of his title, would pull alongside Novak Djokovic on exactly the same number of ranking points. A man who will be world number one again. Very nice. Should give him some early confidence. That's better. Far more like it. Oh, what a shot that is of the match so far, but there was too much open court. Was too generous an invitation. Coaching Lajevic. Oh, and he'll enjoy that shot from his man. This has been only 31 minutes, set point. And there we go, it's gone, just like that. 6-1 Lajevic. Oh, well, what confidence Lajevic is playing with. And you see them really struggling with the demons and the turmoil. That's on the line as well. Oh, well, that's taken an effort to get on the board in this second set. Oh, yes, and why not follow it up like that? And he closes it out impressively. It's going to take a final judgment from Carlos Bernardes. But if that has clipped the line, which I suspect it has, Dusan Lajevic has finished the match in style. What a final game, what a final shot. Very, very impressive victory. Unfortunately for Diego Schwartzman, his troubles continue. Yet another first round defeat for him. It's not getting any easier out here on the tour. But congratulations, Lajevic, the man from Serbia, was very impressive tonight. Yeah, that was nice. Nice change up from Bellucci and a nice time to do it. a nice combination from Baez. Oh, yeah. 
little short, and he got the treatment. And it was well played from Baez when he got up to the drop shot, thank good depth with the next one. That's very nicely dealt with from Sebastian Baez. What a forehand he has found there. <laughs> so Sebastian Baez does take the opening set. very well put away and you can just sense that Bellucci is beginning to tire. Oh, it's beautifully done. Fooled everyone. That's the response that he'll be looking for. That one to perfection, positioning the way, just angles the racket face. <laughs> Again, grease lightning around the court, Sebastian Baez. Well, Sebastian Baez eventually gets it done. But tonight is all about Thomas Bellucci brings the curtain down on what has been a fabulous career since 2005. Made it to a high of 21 in the world, four ATP Tour singles titles as well, six top 10 wins. It's a career that he can be incredibly proud of. We wish him all the best in his retirement. But it's Sebastian Baez who is safely through to round two here at this year's Rio Open. And just acknowledging the crowd, and soaking up his few last moments out here. I mean, he did a, a brilliant job to just cling on in there, but it must be such a, an emotional moment for him. But it has been a, a brilliant career. Nice words at the end from Byers as well. Oh, and it's getting him to sign the camera lens. That's nice of him yeah, it's a lovely touch from Sebastian Baez For the final time Thomas Bellucci signs the lens you can just soak it all in now Very impressive from Norrie. Excellent start from him. Shot. What a shot under pressure. Fourth break point he saves. Oh, has he? No, 
Nori circled a mark. What does Aurelie Tor think? I think she's saying on the line she is. He has countered so impressively. But the set is finally over. After an hour and 25 minutes, set one. It's wide. Montero levels at five all. A quite phenomenal tennis match is finally won by Cam Norrie. What a compelling contest it was. Devastating, really, that there should be a loser in straight sets.